Yo, what's up, guys? It's your favorite YouTuber, Mr. Lara, and I have an insanely awesome topic for you today, nanotechnology and how it's set to completely transform medicine as we know it. First things first, let's break down nanotechnology. This field is all about creating super tiny devices that function at a nanoscale level. We're talking about using minuscule particles called nanoparticles that are even smaller than a virus, which means they can slip into cells and tissues like a ninja. Because they can work at such a small scale, nanotechnology has mind-blowing potential to help scientists operate more efficiently than ever before. Now let's dive into nanomedicine, the awesome combo of nanotechnology and medicine. The mission of nanomedicine is to use nanoparticles to diagnose, treat, and prevent diseases at the molecular level. These tiny particles can target specific cells or tissues in the body, which lets doctors deliver drugs, genes, or other treatments directly to where they're needed. One of the coolest applications of nanomedicine is in fighting cancer. Nanoparticles can be designed to take out only cancer cells with laser-like precision making treatment more effective and reducing side effects. Researchers have already cooked up nanotech-based cancer therapies that are being tested in clinical trials. But hold up, nanomedicine isn't just about battling cancer. Nanoparticles can also help create diagnostic tools that can spot diseases way earlier, slashing the chances of misdiagnosis and letting doctors treat patients more effectively. For example, Scientists have come up with nanoparticles that can find biomarkers for Alzheimer's disease, allowing for early detection and potential treatment. Another amazing use of nanomedicine is in personalized medicine. By studying a patient's unique genetic makeup and disease profile, doctors can whip up targeted therapies tailored to their specific needs. This approach has already shown success in treating certain types of cancer and researchers are working to expand this to other diseases as well. For genetic diseases like sickle cell anemia, nanoparticles can be crafted with RNA or DNA sequences that only target the faulty genes in the body, allowing for targeted gene therapy. Likewise, nanoparticles can be used to deliver drugs to specific organs, making treatments more effective and cutting down on side effects. But wait, there's more. Another incredible potential of nanomedicine is in regenerative medicine. Scientists are working on nanoparticles that can stimulate the growth of new cells and tissue, which could be used to fix damaged organs or tissues. This approach could revolutionize the treatment of conditions like heart disease, spinal cord injuries, and degenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's. Of course, as I mentioned earlier, the safety of using nanoparticles in clinical medicine is a major concern for researchers. These particles are so small that they can easily enter cells and tissues, potentially causing unwanted harm if they don't reach the right cells. That's why researchers are hustling to make sure nanoparticles are 100% safe for clinical use. With new targeting methods being cooked up all the time, nanotechnology is bound to become a staple in modern science. So buckle up and get ready for the wild ride that is nanotechnology. Let me know in the comments how you think it will change the way we treat diseases in the future. And don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel to stay in the loop on the latest and greatest in the world of science and technology.